first of all, where exactly is the piece? The piece is uh, where that cloud, first cloud bank is going across parallel. It's an uh, east-west uh, line across the uh, front of the view here. Mm -hmm. And it's just down over the banks. If we were up another 100 meters, you'd see the water. And, um, and so what, if Site C is built, what will that mean for this area? Well, this, this valley in particular right here has more wildlife in it than uh, anything I've ever seen in, in 30 years of going through the national parks. And I've got guided back in the backcountry in the parks. And uh, every name a species of, of animal that lives in western Canada, it's in this valley. This is a microcosm of major wildlife. If the dam comes in, this valley, seeing the um, snaking valley coming up towards the house here, will be underwater right up to just on the other side of that field. And uh, it'll branch and it'll go to the uh, left and to the right up Deep Creek and Wilder Creek. And we'll be having a lakefront view right here, except that our view is gonna take a look at a lot of sloughing and, and it's gonna be actually a mess. Uh, it'll stop the migration of animals up the valley and uh, our wildlife populations will just plummet. I don't think people who watch this on video will appreciate it, but so you the reality of, of a dam coming in, you say, will mean that ha half of this, what we see now, will, will basically be dam, <laughs> right up to a line of trees that is basically halfway towards us from, from this point. There'll be a tremendous amount of water coming up here, but yeah. th the other thing that's going to do is affect our climate. When you see some fog down in the lower valley down here, when that dam comes in, we're going to be immersed in fog, and uh, I, I anticipate that our... our, our uh, climate's going to change substantially. Our temperatures are going to drop and, and uh, our uh, house is going to be and our land is going to be uh, in a lot more fog over the course of the year. I expect it to triple or quadruple, I'm guessing. Hmm. So overall, what are your thoughts on Site C? Uh, I, I find it really difficult to think that people would contemplating contemplate flooding 80 kilometers of any river valley anymore in today's age when uh, there are alternative energies that are just as good. Geothermal, for instance, can generate just as much energy as, as a mega dam for about the same cost with almost no impact. Uh, to flood a valley is unconscionable. We're going to be losing agriculture. We're going to be losing, uh, that's class one agriculture, a uh, big chunk of BC's class one. We're going to lose our ability to sustain ourselves with our own market garden produce. We're going to lose uh, a lot of wildlife. Ranches and farms are going to be displaced that have been there since the 1920s and 30s. Um, we're going to lose a tremendous amount of tourism. If you get off a plane, first thing you see is pictures of the Peace Valley. Uh, if you go into City Hall, the first thing you see is a great big picture of the Peace Valley. Uh, the road from here to Hudson's Hope is one of the major attractions for tourism in this mm. area. It's going to be gone. Uh, it's going A dam coming in here is going to uh, uh, really compromise our, our way of life around here. If we have camps of 1,000 to 1,500 people uh, here for seven years. We're going to see increased uh, trafficking in drugs. We're going to see uh, impacts on hospitals and schools, uh, on uh, road infrastructure. Uh, all this for seven years worth of construction, a dam that lasts 70 years to 100 years, 8% uh, of BC's increase in power to the grid, and uh, then we have a dead valley. Although you said yesterday that you personally would stand to gain from having a riverfront view, ironically. Uh, I would gain money from having our place look down on riverfront or on uh, lakefront view. Uh, I expect our land value would go up if I wanted to sell. I could advertise having um, uh, a lakefront view. Uh, that's not worth it to me. To, to lose a valley for personal gain is just uh, unconscionable.